Hello, I'm back at Fairmount to unload the Cone 5 glaze kiln. It's April 16th, 2020, and the kiln's been cool for quite a few days, just waiting patiently for me to come unload it. So we're going to go ahead and take a look at the controller box and see what it's saying. It's flashing 62 degrees, so the kiln is nice and cool at 62 degrees. I'm going to review the program with Cone 5. 2165 degrees, medium speed, 10 minute hold, no delay, and the alarm was set. So we're all good to go. I'm going to give you a look in the kiln here and just see when I first open it. It looks like this. I can see, see that these pieces on top are obviously fired through. And I'm going to prop my phone up here on the top of the kiln so we can take a look at each thing as I pull it out. I'm going to go ahead and just start taking these shelves out and we'll look at the work as we go. These two bowls on top, they were uh, dipped glazes. So it's these two glazes with this overlap uh, combination in the center. Very nice. satin blue on the coil pot. The stilt that was on the bottom of this, I can just, well, it's in there kind of tight. Just pop that out. I might have to do that with a little tool later, but you can see how it saves this glaze from reaching the kiln shelf. Lovely. We just want to fill that up with some mocha cafe, don't we? My vessel that I was doing a little test on. These cups that I glaze. This glaze has some, the feldspars that are in the glaze aren't completely um, sieved out. They're kind of chunky in there, so they leave a uh, kind of a little mark in there when the feldspars melt. So, a little fun addition to the surface. Tips came out beautiful. I love how one's light and one's dark. A very nice cheese board. Good choice. Look at that blue. That would be very attractive sitting on the on the counter. Oh, we got a little bit of the glaze came down on the corner here and grabbed onto the kiln shelf right there. So it just kind of ran over the edge. Uh, the sand could could help with that, but it was probably just just a little bit too much. But I can go ahead and grind that on the grinder, and um, it won't be any too much worse for the wear. Still very, very usable. Nice and flat. Good job. Another lovely usable dish. Got a nice combination edge right here between the robin's egg and this brown on the edge. And it was intended to come down and create this, this nice line right here. Fish, chili medallion, this 
So I just want to make a note when I lift the shelf, sometimes it can grab onto the stilts below. So I want to make sure and kind of shift it and slide it over to make sure I'm not picking up any stilts. Outline of relief. It was a relief. I don't remember what kind it is, but student brought it in and put it on there and traced around it and got that nice shape in there. Another copper green. These two go together. Hmm. The baby to the to the coil pot. Nice little pair. This is a very, very thin dish, very light, nice and, nice and flat. I made a tester of this, um, this glaze. I thinking about changing my tester shapes, but I was just trying this one. I'm not sure exactly, but you know, ceramic people we always like to change our uh, process. So it keeps us on our toes. A little wall pocket the impressed it's like a fern frond pressed into there some Celtic knot pieces some labor of love they are weaving clay into uh, into those shapes So this sand that I had sprinkled on the shelf, I actually can keep reusing it. So I'm gonna dump it on a tray and I can put it into a, a pot and just sift it. Getting down into the taller items, these really tall stilts. A nice set of pet Crocs for a cute little miniature dachshund named Violet, so she gets a, a violet in her in her food bowl. More testers, like I said, different shapes and sizes. Now we just have to remember what we did. <laughs> this is a combination. I'm sure we have it written down somewhere very important. Out of the way so they don't fall. There we go. We got a nice little crop of cups over here on this side. These were some handmade mugs. I did a, a mugs workshop and we made these hand built mugs. Just kind of getting the rest of the, the glazing. Those are love. What a lovely pair that is. Look at the um, creative handle. So just to, as I take things out, I might look for some of this kiln wash and different things to be uh, stuck on the bottom there, and I can and I can rub them together like this to get some of that off, or use a stone to to grind them up. A 
another match to the, to the other mug. Very nice. I had forgot there was a pair of those. See, it's like, it is like uh, Christmas when you open the calendar. You can't remember sometimes what's in the bottom of there. Those are wonderful. Nice, usable blue, blue cup there. Springy colored wheel pot. Okay. Nice big slab built vessel. I can see a little halo is left down here on the home shelf. This is a Tomoku glaze. This is a good example of how brushing the glaze on in a single direction can create a little bit of a texture. Um, sometimes if you brush your glaze on in various directions, it can create a little bit of a chaos. It might take away from the piece, so that's a very nice surface on that. And a fun little blue, a blue rim there. A little extra, extra interest. big picture with the stencil designs on there. Another wheel, wheel thrown piece. It has a creative design with the glaze as, as a plain piece using the glaze a, a little bit darker here on the bottom to kind of weigh it down creates some interest. And then it's this blue in the inside, so when you look in there, it feels very uh, inviting. And I love the uh, surprise reaction here with the little bit of blue on the combination. Actually, that's why we made this. I think we tried this before, and it came out really interesting. So we um, we did it again on purpose and made this tester. Uh, it's all coming back to me. And the kitty planner. So the kitty planner is made specifically for a uh, cactus. So you put a tall cactus in here and the uh, tall cactus is the cat's tail. Thanks for joining me to unload the cone five glaze kiln. I'm gonna give you a look through the wear shelves here, see everything stacked up. And next I'm going to do the cone 05 glaze.